Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this nice bearing question. The question reads three points A, B and C. A is 5 km on a bearing of 120 degrees from B. The bearing of C from B is 40 degrees and the bearing of A from C is 160 degrees. We ask to find the distance between A down to C correct to one decimal place. All right, remember if you are dealing with bearing, always construct the first bearing given to you. So the first bearing from the question is 120 degrees and this 120 degrees must be constructed from B. This word is very important, from B. So the first point we are going to locate is B. Then we measure 120 degrees down to what? down to A. You can see that here, which is 5 km apart. Alright, let's get started. So this is going to be our first point, which is what? Point B. So we are going to measure roughly 120 degrees. Remember that this is what? 90 degrees. This is also 90 degrees, making 180. So from 90, which is in the first quadrant, we need to add 30 extra in order to get to 120. So roughly, let's assume we have 30 degrees right here. Something like this. 30 degrees. So this point, this particular point is A. So this is point A. So this is 5 kilometer apart. I remember that this angle right here is 120 degrees. Let's continue reading the question. And it stated that the bearing of C, another point, from B is 40 degrees. So we need to also construct another 40 degrees from B down to C. So from the same B, 40 degrees must be in the first quadrant roughly somewhere here right so let me do that all right something like this remember we don't know the distance this is why i decided to draw this line very long we are not done yet maybe i have to clean some part of the line so this is 40 degrees from here down here is 40 degrees so if this angle is 40 degrees this angle right here must be what 80 degrees because you have to subtract uh, 40 from 120 because 120 is from this point down to this point so we have just cut some portion which is 40 degrees what is left over is going to be 80 degrees the bearing of a from c is 160 degrees so we need to construct 160 degrees from C down to A. Already we have A here and we don't know the location of um, C because the distance is not given from B down to C. So let me do something for you. Let's assume we have C here, somewhere here. And we are asked to construct 160 from this particular C. Suppose this is C. Uh, down to E. If suppose this is 160 degrees, 160 degrees down to E, if E is here. Remember that the sum of this angle, this particular angle, and this angle must give us what? 180, and hence this angle must be 20 degrees. So since we don't know the location of C, we can simply construct this 20 degrees from E. Roughly, this is 20 degrees. You know, we are just sketching. So I'm going to clean everything here. All right, this is now point C. And this particular angle is 20 degrees. And hence, this other one must be 160 degrees. We are almost done. Remember, we are asked to find what? The distance from A down to C, correct to one decimal place. So let us locate it. AC, this is the point. So let me call it X. 
So let's fill some of these angles. We already seen that this is 80 degrees. And we know that this angle, this particular angle must be 40 degrees. Why? Because it is alternate to this one. And this particular angle must be 20 degrees because it must be alternate to this one as well. So if you combine the two together, you have 60 degrees here, right? 60 degrees. So I think we can use sine rule in order to find the distance between A down to C. So according to sine rule, we can take X divided by sine of 80 degrees, right? X divided by sine of 80 degrees. This must be equal to, we relate other sides that are available. We have this side length and this angle, so we can relate them. 5 divided by sine of 60 degrees. By cross multiplication, we have x equal to 5 multiplied by sine of 80 degrees divided by sine of 60 degrees. So I'm going to use my calculator to press everything directly. 5 multiplied by sine of 80 degrees divided by sine of 60 degrees. This is equal to approximately equal to 5.68579 and so on. But remember, the question stated that we should write the answer correct to one decimal place. So correct to one decimal place, therefore x equal to 5.7. Is it kilometer? Yes, kilometer. And hence, this is the answer to this problem. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.